do you think this this decent bounce we've had as we just mentioned the last three or four weeks of gains can continue I think you're I think you're setting up for maybe a two to four percent pullback I think pullbacks are viable now you know the short term and the intermediate term uh, trend turned positive about I guess about three or four weeks ago on our HCM byline, which are, is our proprietary trend indicator and the backbone of our whole firm. So we've started taking positions again. We were heavy in cash, you know, for the first six months of this year. We're starting to buy again now. We see a lot of opportunities out there. We picked up some great deals. The market's moving higher. On a short-term basis, I wouldn't be too concerned about it. I think, I think pullbacks are viable now. I think that you've got a, tr a turn in the market. Uh, the long-term trend is still down, so caution is warranted. But you know, optimism is starting to uh, to peak its head up again. I mean, we've had a you know a lousy six months. The market has been terrible, but I think things are they're picking back up, and I think people should get a little bit more optimistic going into the last half of the year. Does inflation need to have peaked for for that uh, position to hold? What what if we got another bad print uh, worse than expected to come? And I think that's one of the bigger questions that we we're all worried about too. Is this the uh, the top of inflation? Is it starting to roll over? We had a good seat, you know, a good number the other day that you know helped helped the market quite a bit. But uh, you know, there's always something to worry about. And uh, so, you know, we're we're starting to see a turn. I think you're seeing a lot of opportunity. And I think that the way a lot of investors should start to play this is through ETFs. I don't think you need to you know look at individual stocks right here, even though we are so, to some degree. But you know, Texas is looking stronger. You know, growth is starting to pick back up. Who had a you know a pretty rough uh, first six months. You know, like uh, the Qs, QQQ and MGK at uh, Vanguard's uh, mega growth. Uh, ETF. I think that's a great way to play these right here. You can be fast, you can be fluid, you can, you know, scale in or out. So there's a lot of opportunities here to make some money on these turns. Well, and what about uh, looking at bonds? I mean, do you also think they're viable at this level? You know, we were almost 100% in our fixed income portfolio in, in cash all up until about three weeks ago. And three weeks ago, we actually started buying some high yields. Um, HGY, we're playing it through an ETF. Uh, you know, another thing that people really need to look at in the fixed income space is convertible bonds. And we've been playing that through CWB, which is a good, you know, convertible bond uh, ETF. It's very liquid. It's very fluid. and It's performing very well right now. Of course, if it starts not to, then we, you, know, you can always sell it and move to something else. But this is the first time that we've seen the bond market take a turn uh, uh, to the north and mean, meaning that it's a viable rally. And so we have started adding positions to our fixed income portfolio. Yeah. And so, and so what are the risks here? I mean, clearly you, you sound like short term there could be a mini pullback, but ultimately you, you buy uh, any pullback from here. What could change that view and make you wrong that would make you think we're going to retest those lows? I, you know, I think the lows are set. I think the bottom was set, you know, in July and in, in, in June and July. But you never know. I mean, one thing that you mentioned a minute ago was the, the you know, the word of um, a recession. And that that's a, you know, that's a nasty word in our business. And um, so that's one thing that we are looking out for is, is the recession and how that will impact the market. I think you're going to have to be fluid. I think you've got to be, uh, you know, nimble. And I think you've got to take opportunities when they present themselves. There's going to be a lot of opportunities, I've got to tell you, in sector rotation, because the index itself saying that, you know, the S&P may be down 13 percent as of today, you know, but a lot of these sectors are down a whole lot more than that. And if you could get a good sector rotation system moving from biotech to healthcare to energy to, to basic materials, there's going to be a lot of opportunity from rotating from sector to sector going forward. So that's a real encouraging thing for investors, a way to play this market and make money on sector rotation too.